Hi everyone, I'm Chris, the Aquarius Traveller. Make sure you subscribe for your worldwide travel content and inspiration. Good morning fellow followers. So today we are off to a place called Finch Hatton, which is about an hour inland from Mackay in North Queensland. We have about a four hour drive ahead of us at the moment. So uh, yeah, we'll get there and we have some waterfalls. We might have some swimming, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be too cold at this point. Um, we've gone through a bit of roadworks and everything at the moment. So hopefully we should arrive there on time. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you so much for all your engagement and your comments. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my weekly videos. So uh, until we actually get there, I will see you later. The one thing that you notice about the Mackay region is how much sugarcane is around. The streets and highways are literally lined with fields and fields of sugarcane growing. In fact, Mackay Sugar is the largest sugar producer in Queensland and the second largest sugar producer in Australia. Finch Hatton is a great day trip fun from Mackay. There are also places you can stay at that are much closer. Finch Hatton itself has a population of about 200 people, but from Mackay, the turn off to the gorge is just before the town. Once you've turned off, it's about another 10 kilometres to the Gorge car park, first passing over Cattle Creek. There are a number of creek crossings on this road, so in high rainfall, the crossings are unsuitable for a two wheel drive vehicle and you often find cars parked right before the first crossing, but people have chosen to walk the five kilometres one way to get to the car park. Seeing as there is still a hike into the actual swimming area from the car park, walking the extra five kilometres, or roughly two hours return, does add a lot more time onto the journey. It is an easy hike and not much elevation, but having a four wheel drive does come in handy. This particular day, the water was fine for smaller cars. Finally, we made it to the car park. We arrived about 10 a.m. so you can see it's a fairly busy place with lots of cars here. Reading over the track directions, you get to a T junction and one way goes to the Aurelian Falls and the other way goes to the Wheel of Fire. Also explains over the dangers of climbing the rocks. So we've just arrived at the car park and we are heading off on the walk. Apparently it's a 2.8k return walk and it only takes about an hour, hour and a half. Last time I was here it was about 15 years ago so um, this area seems to have changed a bit so let's see how it goes uh, when we get to the waterfall. So it's an extra probably another kilometre to get to the wheel of fire so I'm not sure, it depends on time and how we go to whether we do that or not but anyway here we go. The hike itself into the falls is relatively easy. A slight elevation from time to time, but nothing that hectic. We decided to walk in our thongs or flip-flops and it was fine. After walking a kilometre in, we get to the T-junction that I was talking about before. 
So we've come to a, a T junction and we've got one way where there's the waterfall and the other way where there's the cascades or the, what they call the wheel of fire. So I think we'll check out the waterfall first and then we'll go to the wheel of fire and see what that looks like, okay. So we can start to hear the waterfalls. Sounds very peaceful. We should be coming up on it very soon. So this one's called the Aurelian Cascades. Let's take a look down the stairs. It was pretty cool, there was only two other people here at the time, but as you can see, there are a number of different spots to sit in the water, if you don't want to swim in the main swimming hole, that is. Then it was time to jump on in for a swim. I'm a bit lost for words, but oh my God, that was cold. So I just got out of a swim. Gonna go for a walk now and do the wheel of fire, I think it is. So a little bit uh, further up in the walk. So beautiful place here, I absolutely love it. If you're in the Mackay region, come an hour inland and you can uh, come and swim in these falls. Maybe in the summer, <laughs> might be a little bit better. So, but yes. That was absolutely freezing. I'm a little bit numb. After that, it was time to check out the Wheel of Fire hike. So this time we are heading to the Wheel of Fire. It's about another 1K past the turning point. Um, so eventually it'll be 2Ks to get back to the car park. Um, the original walk to the Cascade only took us about 20 minutes, so uh, not that long at all. Good walk. Um, I know I do a lot of hiking, probably people that are slower, but there are probably people that are faster than me as well. But uh, after the cold swim, this is actually going to warm me up, which is actually really good. I think it's a little bit more uphill to actually get to the wheel of fire. From memory from about 15 years ago it was just a, a lot of different waterfalls but I'll soon refresh my memory. <laughs> Seemed to be heaps and heaps of these orange butterflies on the wall.
We were still wearing our thongs for this walk, but I must admit it probably would have been safer for better shoes. There were a lot more rocks, a lot more stairs, and a lot more water on the track. Then there was a creek crossing involved, which I would expect in high rainfall that it might be difficult to cross. Choices are to find your own way over the top of the rocks or walk through the water. Careful walking through the water though, the moss on the covered rocks can be slippery. I ended up doing a bit of both. and then the stairs continued. But we did stop a lot to admire all the different and smaller waterfalls that were walking beside. It was extremely loud with all the water coming down and so many different spots to stop at. Eventually we got to the end and another water hole to swim in, equipped with more warning signs not to climb the rocks. So hopefully you can see me, but uh, we've just made it to the Wheel of Fire. Now it's taken probably an extra 20 minutes of the journey. I think they've named it the Wheel of Fire because it does have a lot of stairs, so uh, your legs are burning on the way up. But basically we've come to uh, a lot of these rocks and a big gorge in the end where you can also go swimming. Just as cold as the last spot, so I don't think I'll be going swimming in this one, but um, a small waterfall over the back there, which you can see, but um, yeah, some beautiful sights here for sure. Beautiful, nice, clear running water. Just amazing, I love it. I've managed to navigate over quite a few rocks and uh, sort of getting my feet in water again. But uh, come around here and now you can see the entire wheel of fire waterfall actually coming down. So you can't actually see that from the other side. And it's not that easy to get over here, but I suppose if you jumped in the water, it might be a little bit easier. But yeah, absolutely beautiful over here. have enjoyed this little tour today of Finchhatton Gorge which was the Rillian Cascade and the Wheel of Fire so uh, if you liked it give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for next week's video hope to see you then bye bye for now